Okay, energy, energy. Ah, 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 ah. What's up, everybody? It's Mike. We're almost done with the Irish month. We're almost done with the Irish theme video. But I'm paying respect to my heritage. They are where I get my special abilities from. My special abilities being my drinking abilities or habits or problems. You know, it all depends on how you look at it. I get my drinking abilities from my Irish side, and I get my loud, obnoxious personality from the Italians. Whoever thought it was a good idea for Irish and Italians to breed? Let's get a drunk, but combine them with fiery passion. <laughs> I'm literally a chaotic Powerpuff girl. <laughs> Are you guys having a good St. Patrick's Day? Is everybody being safe? The last St. Patrick's Day, I went really crazy. I ended up having sex in a porta potty. But I used a condom, so I was safe. Today's video, I've been saving. I've wanted to do this for a very long time. As you guys know, I am a globally disgraced celebrity bartender. And some of y'all think you're funny by pointing out that I'm not a celebrity. You're right, I'm not a celebrity. I just bartend for celebrities, and I don't know how else to say it. Today, we're gonna react to Irish people trying strong alcohol. I think they made a video of the strongest alcohol in the United States, as well as the entire world. I don't know how accurate that is. Cause I bet you there's some strong shit in the middle of nowhere that we haven't even discovered. I bet you there's indigenous people somewhere in the world that's getting crunk as fuck. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna go with it. Where did the idea come from that Irish people can drink a lot or handle a lot of alcohol or high proof alcohol? Like how did this all start? Like were all countries just viewed as their own fraternity and Irish people just raged the hardest? <laughs> so we're gonna watch them try these different high proof alcohols. And then I'm gonna say whether or not I've ever had them and if they are actually that bad. Okay. First, we're gonna start off with Irish people trying America's strongest alcohol specifically. What doesn't kill you makes you drunker. I'm so hungover. That's I'm fact. so hungover. Get your shit together. I've had to do this so many times. I don't wanna hear shit. You're an Irishman. We drink until our problems are not problems anymore. I made a lot of people drink some very disgusting shots. And uh, for penance, I today am going to be with Kelly trying extreme American spirits. I will say right now, I, just to let everybody know, I'm a pussy when it comes to shots. The only shots I will take is tequila because I enjoy tequila. This hive proof shit, you will never catch me. I used to be able to do this. I went through fraternity hazing. In high school, we drank the most disgusting shit. Everclear and cheap vodka that was in like a giant plastic handle. This is my first alcohol shoot with Try, and I was told like, we will ease you into it. We'll get you in for one. We'll have some beer or something. This is not easing into it. Expect. It never is. To anybody that's been told, don't worry, I'm gonna ease you into it. Bottoms, you know what a lie that is. That's a plastic bottle. Oh fuck, I'm out. And it's Smirnoff, I'm even, bye. You got me so confused. People, you guys in the comments be asking, what kind of like shelf is Smirnoff vodka? Is Smirnoff vodka middle or top shelf? Smirnoff vodka is shit. I literally only buy it to use in some of my videos because you can get a lot of it for dirt cheap. And it's 50% alcohol, which means it's 100 proof. Here's a little tip. If you ever want to know what proof and alcohol is, just look at the percent. Whatever percent of alcohol it is, just double it, and that is the proof. If you're getting your very strong spirit in plastic, there's something that just doesn't feel right there. Oh, the it means you're cheap. <laughs> or a child. Because you really, you really don't save that much. You could get a nice glass bottle of vodka for 20 bucks, and I'm talking good quality vodka. If you're drinking vodka out of plastic, especially Smirnoff vodka out of plastic, you are down on your motherfucking luck. You are drinking it out of a brown paper bag on the side of the road. And am I being offensive? No, because I've been you. When I first started bartending, I finished a really long shift and I was going through a lot of shit, so I bought one of these put it in a plastic bag and walked around Manhattan just drinking and then sat on the side of the road and at like six in the morning, don't ask, someone was walking by this like beautiful rich woman in all white with her Louboutins, struts by and drops $20. I took that $20, I bought another bottle. <laughs> oh gosh. Cheers. Right, cheers. <laughs> Holy fuck, there she is. Oh she is. I like that they refer to alcohol as she. There she is, look at her! It's like the gays. We call everything she. Look at this computer, look at her! This can of Red Bull, bitch! Look at this slut! I just like vodka. I wouldn't usually drink it shot by shot, but that would be my drink of choice. You guys have sent me this woman, haven't you? What is it about this woman? She looks so sweet and innocent, but I know- 
You guys have sent me her before, asking me to react to her. Why? Oh, the Knob Creek whiskey. Knob Creek. That's not a great name. Well, Knob is Creek is great. Knob Creek is fabulous. I love Knob Creek. Knob, mm -hmm. like a, is that the same? Does that mean the same thing in America? 60 horsepower. Comment below if knob means knob in America. Don't I mean, like dick. You know when you have to uh, yeah. punch your stomach off the drink, kick it's the liver into gear. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know when you have to physically harm the outside just as much as you harden the inside? It's a good drink. How are they just like, shooting these straight? That's a great whiskey. That's very good. Really nice. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Me and whiskey are friends, but whiskey and vodka are best friends in my belly. I mean, it's hard to taste the strength from well, a shot. Maybe you should have another shot. Then. Maybe we should have another so, shot. Well, maybe you should. Then. Maybe you should. Oh my God. How is it hard to taste? It's very, it, yeah, if it tastes like gasoline, if it tastes or smells like nail polish remover, but I will say, oh, once it's a certain proof, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. I will say, once you're at 150 proof, it's just gonna be the same shit. Your body can only recognize so much level of terrible. It's another plastic bottle. I can bring it on a plane. 151, it's Rome. This is, I think it's discontinued. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is discontinued. When was this filmed? 2018. I don't know if it was still being sold by then, but now I'm pretty sure that this is hard to find. And I will say this, I have had shots of 151 before and it is Awful. I'd also like to point out that I hate high proof rum the most. High proof rum to me is worse than taking high proof vodka shots. I don't know why, that's just my preference, I guess. This is 75.5%. Oh, 75.5, math, hold on. 75.5 times two. Hold on, 75 times two, 150.5 151. It's literally, it's literally Picard, it's literally rum 151. I'm gonna kill, I'm trying to do the math and it says it on the bottle. I have a master's degree, shut up. <laughs> Tell everyone out there, have a shot with us. Uh, <laughs> Who is this woman and why does she have the power of the gods? Why does she just take it like it's fucking cum? There is no pain on her face, she's drinking Rum 151, and she looks like she's frolicking through a fucking field of daisies. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at everyone, and she's just like, yeah, it's a Tuesday. What is it? Holy gamoli. <laughs> Fuck me. Well, that is 95 horsepower. Sorry, what the fuck is this font? That exists? It's 190 proof? Why does that exist? That does not need to exist. Is that legal to serve anywhere? Why would you even want that in your house? That's not a drink that should be consumed. That's a cleaning product. Caution, do not apply over a flame. Just, it's just very much, don't put this on fire. Or in your body. In what instance would you ever need this? Please let me know in the comments if you would ever try this. I, I recommend no. I, I didn't even know that this existed. Free, free. Two, one, slauncher. Oh, I know that burns. I know that burns. And they took these all back to back. I feel like a lot of it like evaporates on impact, if that makes sense. It doesn't, you're just a god, I'm a, this demon. I'm fully intimidated by this woman. What powers does she hold and how do I get them? There's trauma behind those eyes. <laughs> Let's, I'm your therapist now. Tell me what happened. You're not able to drink this shit and stay dead behind the eyes and had a perfect life. Now let's check out Irish people try the world's strongest alcohol. I don't know how, is, if, is there anything that's above 195? That is insane. I genuinely did not know this. Probably because I don't know if you could even sell it in a bar. I don't know this because why would I? Why, when would you ever need this? We don't need to travel right now. She's back! The demon lord herself! I'm a fan of this woman. I've always been told alcohol is an Irish man's worst enemy. But in the Bible, it says love your enemies. And that's a fact! Oh! I love interpreting the Bible however we see fit. 62.5. Math. Hold on. 120. 124. 125 proof. Math! If it's made out of like plate, it's like a poaching and it's mashed plates. Was that, what was that words? Hold on. <laughs> it's made out of like plates, it's like a poaching and it's mashed plates. What? I'm gonna make it part of the Irish accent. I find that hot, but he's, what was that sentence? 
Okay, if this man and the demon lord lady had a child, it would be unstoppable and very sexy. It's a really interesting flavor. It's like... She's she's doing this like she's reading a book. Like, I don't understand what's happening. I can kind of taste that corn. Jeez, oh. I'll take two of them. Oh. These two are like literally sipping this like it's tea. Martin, do not, like I'm actually gonna cry right now. Do not tell me that there's no fire right here in your shirt. You can kind of taste the heat in the back of your throat. Like it's more ethanol -y, So I suppose you kind of can. She's getting hints. She's getting hints and notes. How do you taste anything from this? Am I weak? What's happening? If I was an I.O. and I did that, I'd be gone home in a body bag. That tastes stronger and more ethanol-y than other ones that I've tried that are- She's still going in on descriptions. Like she's just like, she's just like, this tastes more ethanol-y and this is, how do you even know? Oh, another strong rum at 63% alcohol. That's 120, 126%, 126 proof. Hey nephew, oh rum, amazing. How exciting, we really are going on a tour. It's on Kingston. Jamaica, they look like they're just having a fabulous time. I don't understand. Is this is this really Irish people? Because if so, maybe I'm not Irish at all. This is fantastic. Ray and nephew, right? Are the guys who are like the mom and pop of rum. They've been distilling it for so long. She knows her shit. You guys, I might be getting a boner. Watch there be no pain. Watch there be no pain on, look, he's uh, fine. Doesn't it taste kind of sweet? Yeah, I was gonna say. It's a... very fumy. Get him. I need, I need to walk. No, I want it to be over. I want it to be over like Ooh. yesterday. It has me going, look at that. As you go, it, it has, has me going. going, look at that. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? I'm already gone. It's fabulous. I can't say I'm a good drinker anymore. I could say I like to drink as a hobby. These people are masters. What is she saying? What was she I'm sorry, I cut her off. What? Was it something pleasant about this demon alcohol? It's fabulous. There's so many things that you could do with this. Like the first- Like throw it away. <laughs> oh fuck, absinthe, hold on. Funny story about absinthe. I took a shot of it at the end of my night at August Getty's house and then Arise was driving me home and I had her pull over on Mulholland Drive so I could throw up on the side of the road. So that was the last time I tried a shot of absinthe. 89.9% <sighs> Hold on. 179.8 What is the purpose? It is, I knew it, I knew it. As soon as it was green, I knew it. We're drinking absinthe. He came, he fully just orgasmed. Me and this man have a lot in common. Sometimes you just come when you get a good drink. Look at his straight face, I don't understand. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is 95% alcohol, so that means it's 190 proof. Like, I, other than cleaning a war wound, what purpose does this serve? I'd say to you, maybe back out of this one. What do you mean? I'm saying it. What do you mean? Maybe back out of this one. Jesus never backs down. <laughs> it's true. All right, we'll just do the shot because it'll be less pain than fucking seven and I, exactly. I assume. Yeah. Come on, you gotta, you gotta give me something. Nothing! 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 I'm gonna piss my now I want to do this. Now I want to try and see how I like stack up because I'm competitive as fuck and I know I won't be able to do it as good as these people. If I were to do this, this video would have to get 5,000 likes, easy. Because I don't want to do this and if I do this, I will be pissed. But if this video gets 5,000 likes, I will do it. And let me know if I do do that video, who would you like to see do it with me? Because I'm not doing it alone. In the comments down below, let me know if you've heard of any of these alcohols or tried them yourself. What did you think? Were they strong? Were they not that bad? Am I just overreacting like I do a lot? And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos. I put them out weekly, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom. And if anyone follows the girl in this video, comment on her stuff and tell her that MikeMGTV loves you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm MikeMGTV and you're fucking welcome.